Oh my gosh, the mall is too big for the inventory screen. That's kind of interesting. What's up, agents? Zero here. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. It's been like, what, a week and a half, something like that? It's actually a day earlier than I said I was going to uh, return to YouTube, so that's good. Um, So, as you guys probably already know, was looking for a brand new editor and I actually found one. I'm actually using what's called Power Director which is by Cyberlink and you can actually tell by looking uh, down in this general area there's actually a um, watermark down in this corner of the screen which I can't get rid of until I actually uh, make an in-app purchase which that's going to be happening before too long. I want to get all the uh, features from this thing. Um, anyway, enough about that. Today I'm actually here doing a double showcase which is something I haven't done in a long time which it makes a lot of sense why I don't do uh, double showcases very often. I think the last time I did double showcase um, was on a city map, excuse me, I, on a city map, and I had some sort of add-on that uh, would make sense on a city map, and I'm doing basically the exact same thing again. Um, so basically what we're going to be doing, we're actually in a city map called Footscray, which this was updated recently. According to the webpage, this was updated on the 6th of November, so it wasn't too long ago since this was actually updated. And I actually haven't looked around the city all that much to begin with. I've just kind of been in this general area to start off with. Um, this was actually created by uh, the Republic of Astoria, so they actually have their information back here. Um, so this is their information. Um, so... Um, that's not the only thing, obviously, that we're going to be looking at. Um, we're going to be looking at this map, uh, fresh together, unless you guys have seen this map already, in which case, um, then you guys saw it before me. Um, but we're actually here because I figured that the add-on that I want to showcase today would actually make a lot of sense to do any city map. That's why I have this map. Um, we're actually taking a look at the Vanilla Vehicles add-on, which this was created by Vladu11, so a huge shout out to you, and basically what this does is it adds in five different vehicles. We have ourselves a mine car, a mini mine car, a mine plane, which sounds awesome, a mine bus, which if, if you're in multiplayer, this is actually really awesome. And the Mine Marine, which I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to make good use of in this ad. And by the way, I did not rename any of these. These were renamed specifically uh, in the creative menu. These actually replace um, horses, by the way. Horses, donkeys, mules, all that kind of stuff. It all replaces them. I don't know which one is which. So I do apologize if you guys want to know which one is which. I do not know. It doesn't actually say on the webpage. Um... And the add-on creator actually plans on adding more to this add-on. So one thing that he plans on adding is a mine scooter, which I'm not entirely sure what that is. But judging by um, some videos that I've seen for other games, I'm pretty sure I know what that is. And then he also plans on adding a trade machine that will randomly spawn in your survival world so that you can buy this stuff. It's actually pretty cool. So let me go ahead and pull out these vehicles and I'm going to use these I'm not just going to spawn these straight away I'm going to spawn these in one at a one at a time because the reason why I uh, have this map is because I want to explore and I feel it would be a uh, kind of a good place to have a vehicle add on um now actually we have a key which we actually need in order to drive these now these right here are stickers and here's what the stickers do. So let me go ahead and spawn in the mine car right now. So it does actually have a little bit of um, movement to it because it is a horse. Um, so here's what the stickers do. So I can just take any of these. I can go ahead and put these on my car. The way I do that is I go ahead and ride them. And then if I open up its inventory, just open up your inventory normally. And you get this. I put this key in right here. And I will be able 
to drive, or at least that's what I'm thinking is what happens. And these stickers that I have, we have three different stickers. These are obviously um, horse armor. It's kind of um, understandable because these are horses. So if I put this one in, it actually makes a sound effect like spray, spray paint, which is actually pretty cool. So now if I exit my minecart by shifting, take a look. I now have a grass block on my minecart, which is actually really cool. I like the customization that the uh, app map creator, uh, not map creator, the add-on creator did. So, we've got the same thing, we've got a fire sticker, Now I don't know which of these horse armors is which to be completely honest, except for this one, which this one I'm fairly certain is leather, and as you can tell it just works as normal. Now as far as the leather one is concerned, okay, I apparently can jump out of that. Um, so, as far as these leather ones are concerned, this is how it works. So just take a cauldron full of colored water. Now I've just made it red. So if I go in here and I put this in here, now I have a red car. And if I go ahead and take this out, the mine car is the only one that you can do this with. So just be aware of that, whether or not the Adam Creator plans on... Um, Adding it so that the other ones uh, can do this, I don't know, but this is how it works. And so now I've got myself a blue car, and I'm actually going to leave it blue for right now. And I really like the texture of this mine car. And something I sh I haven't mentioned that's fairly obvious is that these are meant to look a lot like they were made for vanilla. Men, that's the name. Uh, vanilla vehicles. Um, one thing I did find out about this is that if you actually kill one of these vehicles, they will drop a chest, which I did not realize until... I guess, because I spawned in way too many of them, to be completely honest, and I was trying to kill them, and apparently they drop a chest. I'm not going to do that in the, this video, because I feel that's uh, kind of weird to do. You know what, um, I could probably go ahead and get out a sword, and I can show you at the end of this video, if you really want to see it. I'm sure some of you probably want to see it. Um, But yeah, let's go ahead... And get inside of this and I do believe yeah I do believe I need to actually put the key inside of this car and now I can actually go ahead and drive around we are now making our way hold on I just realized it's making sound effects these are actually really cool sound effects okay so we are actually now making our way into Footscray City which by the look of things, I can't really see all too well over this windshield. That is a bit of an annoying thing, but it makes a, little, a lot of sense that it has a windshield. Anyway, I'm seeing that they already have um, vehicles um, on the road, which is actually a really nice detail. They actually have legitimate license plates, too. That's a really cool detail. I like that. So, we're just going to travel around the city, see... What we can find in a horn's honking, too. I did not realize it was going to do that. Again, I should have paid attention. All right, so let's go ahead and get off the freeway. And let's see, I'm probably going the wrong way in the street, admittedly, which is fine. Um, oh, wait, it's raining. Um, I definitely don't want it raining right now. I did not realize this was a thing. So, whether this is something I was not uh, uh, preparing to have to do, but. It makes a little bit of sense. Um, I was actually reading some of the signs for uh, this map, and apparently there are some people who are role-playing this map, which I can understand why they would do this. It's actually really cool, and I'm just paying more attention to the road than what's around me. I really need to look around me, so this is actually a really cool uh, little city. Um, let's see. Um... You know what, I'm going to stop off right here. I want to inspect some of these buildings, because as I mentioned, I don't know anything about this city. So it looks like, um, let me see, it says up here what this building is. Um, so apparently this building is for rent. I'm actually curious to see what's inside this building. Is there like anything special inside this building? I'm sorry I'm getting away from the um, Adam, but I am really curious as to what this uh, map is like and what's behind this door so it looks like just another room and what's behind here um looks like a, it's a bathroom okay so the map creator definitely put a lot of detail work into this map um how i actually get up to higher floors i have no idea 
Um, there probably is a way. Oh, oh, that uh, this will make a lot of sense. Okay, so this gets me up to the higher floors. Okay, so I'm assuming that that's like a, maybe an office space down there, and this looks like it'll be an apartment building of some sort. This actually is really cool. Hold on, I need to clear my inventory um a little because this is kind of getting annoying. That I'm holding the sticker out in um in my hand. So this is actually a relatively cool map. I'm seeing a lot of detail in this map uh, from what I'm looking at. Oh, okay, so this is actually really cool. I like this. Um, So let's see what's in here. Just a spare bedroom and then there's something back here. This is probably just, yeah, this is just the bathroom. So that's not too um, um, uncommon for something like this. So this is actually a relatively cool map. Um, From what I understand, this map creator put like I don't know how many hours into it. it should say on the web page, which I have the web page up right now. Um, does it say how long it took him? No, it did not. Might have said on the signs um, in the back of the bomb. So this looks like okay. So this looks to be a kitchen. This is really cool. So the fact that these they're putting this much detail into something like this is actually. Really nice. Here's another bathroom. If I explore more of this city, I probably find more of this stuff. But I'm liking this so far. So this actually makes a lot of sense the way they have this building set up. And I'm not gonna spend a whole heck of a lot of time looking at some of the other buildings. But this is just the scale of some of these things. This is actually really cool. I'm liking this. So anyway, I think I'm done with. The buildings for now and let me just go ahead and show you guys that this does in fact um, drop a chest so it drops the chest and it drops the sticker and key as you'd expect so I got a whole bunch of stuff back um, so yeah that was the mine car I'm sorry I got uh, a little bit distracted but this I have to say is a really cool map and I thought it would be perfect to showcase an ad like this as I, as I already mentioned so now let's go ahead and take a look at the next vehicle, this is the Meek Mine Car, and I've only tested the sword on the normal mine car. I haven't tested on any of the other vehicles, but I can only assume that they'll drop chests. So I'm not gonna t uh, test this theory, but here's what's interesting about this: it's actually um, kind of slow, which I, I admit probably isn't. Um, well, it doesn't seem to be as slow as I thought, so I take that back. Anyway, so this is the mini minecar, and it functions pretty much the same as the normal minecar, except this has an added feature to it. This minecar can jump, and boy is it able to jump. I gotta be completely honest. Now, whether or not the jump height is going to be different depending on... Uh, which one you spawn? I mean, they all look the same, but because these are all horses, um, their uh, stats are all going to be uh, random. So, whether or not you get a good jumping car or not, that's another question. I don't actually know, but it wouldn't surprise me if that were actually the case. And hold on, I want to stop right here. What is this building? This map creator has put a lot of detail. Um, is this? It says. Sudbury Mosque. Is this like like a church or a place of worship or something? Is that what this place is? Um, Because I'm assuming that's what it means. Okay, so that just brings me all over to the other side. That just brings me back to the street. What's back here? Um, So I can come up here. Is there anything? No. Okay. So I don't know what this building actually is, but it caught my interest because of the buildings. Let me look um up at the top if I can actually fly there we go so yeah this looks like it ought to be a place for worship because I do have a one or two in my area and I know what they look like this actually looks something like I've seen in my area so yeah this is actually a really cool map I can't get over it and it's a really as I mentioned it's a perfect ma um, map for <laughs> this particular island so anyway enough about that let's get out the next video, ah, uh, not video, I'm uh, doing a video right now, um, let's get out the next vehicle, I should say, the mine plane, I just realized I need to get the key out of this in order for me to 
uh, use uh, this vehicle. Um, so this is the mine plane. Now I don't know how well this is going to end up working in this setting. Actually, you know what? Let's skip the mine plane for now. I know some of you probably wanted to see it, but I want to focus on uh, something else right now. So right now, this is the mine bus. Now this is actually a really cool um, uh, model, I have to say, and oh, I didn't even realize it had the word bus on it. I guess it kind of makes sense. It is a bus. Um, anyway, so, basically, um, according to the webpage, this can carry up to five people in it, so that's actually not too bad, and the first person that gets in this thing is actually the driver, as if that was really any surprise. Um, let's go ahead and get in this, and, okay, so we're looking straight out the windshield. Um, uh, okay, that's actually really good to know. Okay, so let's go ahead... Oh my gosh, the model is too big for the inventory screen. That's kind of interesting. Okay, let's roll with it. Okay, I actually meant to put the key in and then not another vehicle. And I'm liking the fact that they all have inventory space in them, which is actually relatively good. So let's go ahead and drive around this. And as I mentioned, you can carry up to five people in this thing. And the sound effects with these... Um, vehicle is actually relatively good. I'm glad I have a new editor because now you guys can actually hear the uh, sound effects and it not sound all that bad because I did do some testing already. Um, so this is actually really cool. It actually sounds like a legitimate bus. Now, something that would actually be relatively cool is if they added a school bus. And we're going down a hill. Um, can this go up, uh, one block, um... Um, not exactly. Okay, that is a little bit of a fly. I don't know if it's with all vehicles or just this bus, but this is actually really cool. You're actually legitimately looking out. Okay, so now we're actually at S. Okay, so they actually got legitimate road, um, uh, signs up, so that's relatively good. Um, can this go up? Okay, so it went up that block. It just can't go up, uh, the one all the way over there, so that is kind of interesting. Um, it's like there's actually a legitimate railway system. That's actually really cool. They put a lot of detail into this map. Okay, so this is pretty much all there is for the mine bus. Now, there are two other vehicles, one of which is the mine plane, which I want to showcase last because um, I just feel like that would actually be relatively cool to showcase last. And the other one that I have um, is actually called... The Mine Marine. Now, whether or not I'm going to be able to use the Mine Marine. Actually, I should be able to use the Mine Marine right down here. Because if the name was of any suggestion, it's a water vehicle. It's supposed to be submarines. Uh, Mine Marine, it kind of makes a little bit of sense. Um, so, I have not tested the Mine Marine just yet. And hold on, I feel like um, it spawned this down on... The riverbank. That's probably the best thing to do. So let's see. There's the mine mine car. So um, here's the mine marine. Now can I spawn this on land or do I have to spawn this in the water? Let's just spawn on land. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that worked. And I just realized I'm going to need another key. I forgot to take it out of the bus. Thankfully, it's right here, so it's not too far off. Um, so let's go ahead and get in this mine marine, and let's go ahead. And open up the inventory and put in the key. And now we can actually drive this in the water. And okay, this is kind of interesting to see. Unfortunately, whoa. Okay, don't jump out of this. You can only uh, drive around the bottom of water. That's actually good to know. Um, okay, um, so let me get back inside this thing. Um, so you can't really see all too well, which is something. I honestly should have expected from a vehicle like this, but this is actually rather cool. And hold on, I have a um, an idea. Um, if I can actually, can I get back onto dry land? Okay, there we go. Um, I want to try something. Um, I actually want to try something. So if I go into a uh, survival mode, which um, will I be able to breathe underwater inside of this? Um, 
game mode uh, survival. And let's see, will I actually be able to breathe? Whoa! Uh, apparently this map here has been doing a lot because I've got over 5,000 experience. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so this is apparently zombie horse. Will I be able to survive underwater? I can survive underwater in this thing. Okay, that is actually relatively good to know. That is really useful. Okay, that's actually good to know. So I'm assuming if I just get out, yeah, I have to... Um, actually start breathing in. Hold on. Oh, that fixed. Okay, never mind. Okay, so, um, okay, so, there's the mine marine. And let me go ahead and go back into creative mode. In game mode C. There we go. So, there's the mine marine. I just realized I'm going to need the key out of this thing in order to drive the last vehicle. Okay, so that apparently, it works underwater, you can breathe underwater, but I highly recommend having some sort of night vision potion, maybe an aqua affinity helmet that would be a really good idea to use. Um, as I mentioned before, the signs at the start of this map said that there were people who were role playing this, and if there were like a villain of sorts, that would actually be a relatively cool vehicle for the villain to have, or maybe like a superhero or something, I don't really know, but that would actually be relatively cool because that would technically go undetected, I'd like to say, then again, it's fairly obvious, it looks pretty much like the same, and plus if you get too close to the surface, well, it's just got pop up top. Um, let's see, where is a good place for me to put down... This last vehicle, I think right here should be a good place for it. So this is the last vehicle. This is the mine plane. Now, I have not tested this vehicle out whatsoever. And according to this, um, once you are at the desired height, equip it with the key and it's raining again. I really hate the fact that it does. Actually, I just realized I can go into here and clear it this way. I keep forgetting about this feature. There we go. Um, actually, thunder is going to be a really bad thing to have um, uh, in this map because there's a lot of wool in the streets. Um, so anyway, um, so this apparently will fly on its own eventually. I don't know how long it takes. Then you put the key in it, and it will hover, and then it'll do that for like three to four minutes according to it, and then it'll start dipping down which is actually uh, relatively cool so let's go ahead and get in this um okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and go like this and can i just go ahead no apparently you need some distance okay that's good to know um so oh apparently i spawned in another one that's okay so eventually this thing should start flying that's my assumption whether or not it actually will is a good question um and I'm also lagging a little bit. Um, hold on, what if I just po point my point this upwards? Um, no, that's not doing anything. Okay, fine. Um, then let's go ahead and put the key in here and see if that fixes anything. Okay, so okay, no, I can't jump in it. I should have realized that from earlier. Whoa, it's still going. And it stopped. Okay, let's get back in you. I really want to see this thing flying in action because that would actually be really cool. I don't know how to go about getting it flying. That's the only problem. Uh, maybe the map, the uh, add-on creator, I keep saying map creator, but that's not really uh, what it is, I, even though I am technically on the same map. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of lag here. Um, So... I don't know what it takes to get this thing flying. Hold on. Are we actually above the ground right now? We are already above the ground. Okay, that's actually good to know. Hold on. If we were already above the ground, because of that one block drop off, if I could fly, that'd actually be really good. Um, I am having so much lag that I can't even fly up into the air. That's not good. Um... Um, so, I can only assume, can I get up, no, I can't get up, so, I'm going to make an assumption, if I were to actually make it, 
to... Oh my gosh, the lag is so bad. I am stuck right now. There we go, I'm fine. Um, so I want to make an assumption that the mag lag is just getting worse. I don't think my device is handled up. Uh, able to handle this map is probably what's going on. It's all these signs, probably. Um, so... Yeah, I can't actually uh, fly up. There's just too much lag. Um, so... I want to make an assumption that because I was up one block high, that I will actually... Uh, be able to fly off the roof, which is what I'm trying to do. It's why I'm trying to fly, but as I mentioned, um, on, if I do, um, if I enter this command, um, kill, is that at E? Is that the reason why I'm having so much lag? Because I have too many entities. Oh, wow, that killed a lot of stuff. I should have realized that. Okay, so, is this the reason why I'm having trouble... Um, no, okay, um, this actually goes down two blocks. I'm taking up a lot more time than I probably should, but I really want to test out to see if this actually works the way I think it does, and I'm pretty sure it does. Let's go ahead and put the key in here, and let's go ahead and fly in. Yeah, we are still above the ground. We are legitimately still above the ground. Okay. So that's actually really good to know. Um, okay, so that is actually relatively cool. So I don't know whether or not it will just lift off by itself. I think it has to take some time. And I just had another lag spike. You guys probably saw that. Um, I don't know how long it takes for it to actually... Start lifting off. Maybe I need to have the key out and it'll eventually go up. I am not entirely sure. But other than that, that's... Hold on. I didn't notice this before. The wheel's actually turning. That's something that'll have to be tested out in uh, multiplayer. I don't actually know if the wheels will actually turn. Because if they actually have a legitimate turn... That is actually a relative one. I'm just going to do this and test to see if this actually works. I know I technically already tested this to see if it works, but I kind of want to test it a little bit more. And is this, is this where I spawned in from? It looks like it. Okay, so looks like I made a little bit of a loop. And let's go ahead and get, I need another key. So let's go ahead and fly around in this thing, because why the heck not? Um, and I spawned in another one. Great. Okay, that's not really too big one. So, I just do this. Yeah, we are now flying above the streets. Okay. That is actually really cool. Flying above every single one of these lampposts. Not even caring. That is actually really cool. Um, well, here's a building I took long enough for me to get on top of a building. I didn't think... It Oh, it's going to happen. Okay. Whoa! I probably should not have done that. Alright. But other than that, that's actually going to have to do it for this video. Because there's really not much else I could showcase. I mean, I probably could explore this map a little more. But I think I've explored enough of it. Because uh, I'm on like almost 30 minutes into the video. So, hopefully you guys have enjoyed If you did, make sure that like button. One well, more than make sure that subscribe button for future content. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at agencyp 0 to stay updated. This has been Zero Studios. Thank you guys for watching. By the way, the links to both the add-on and this, and this map will be down in the description. So, you, if you want to download either one, you certainly can. But, yeah, with that, I will see you guys later.